Hello and welcome back to NY Capture Photography. It's been a little while since my last video. I've uh, been doing a lot of shooting lately, but have slacked a little bit on posting any content on YouTube. So looking forward to getting back in the habit in the new year. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a pretty quick unboxing of an exciting new product I got and really excited to use it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So the product I'm going to be talking about today is a hand-painted canvas backdrop. And I usually just use the walls in my living room here, or um, I have some seamless paper. Uh, but with the seamless paper rolls, I usually have to set up two stands and a crossbar and then lug the paper everywhere. Um, and I like the way it looks, but... Um, it really depends. And I wanted something a little bit more textured, a little bit more classic looking, something that would be uh, kind of give a little more mood to my portraits and things like that. So I looked online and I saw a whole varying range of different um, hand painted canvas backdrops. And there are some really great ones out there and there's some really expensive ones out there. So I tried to find quality, um, but something that was affordable as well. So through my searches on the internet, I came across uh, Klot Studios um, and I looked at their, their different backdrops and I thought they had a great variety uh, of different colors and different textures and things. Um, and I, there was also some other photographers that I've seen their work on Instagram that were using them. And I really liked um, the results that they were getting. So I thought I would give it a try. It was very reasonable. Um, so I ordered one. It was a five by seven, uh, five foot wide and seven foot long. And um, I, I ordered it. It took, um, because of the holidays, they got a rush, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different orders, but it came, I would say in about three weeks or so, uh, which is really not too bad. And I think the shipping's probably um, a little shorter when they're not rushed like that. Um, they had a huge sale for Black Friday. Um, so to be honest, it was $300 list price, but I got, um, I think, 20% off or so. So it was a really great deal. And I'm sure they'll have other sales coming down the line. Uh, but I ordered it. And then um, it actually uh, came once they sent the shipping, it was coming from China, uh, which I didn't realize. Um, so, uh, you know, I was worried that would take a little while or things might get hung up or anything, but there was no problem at all. Um, and, and it came and it was packaged well and it came, uh, in, in great shape and everything. So there was no issues with that. So I ordered the, um, abstract iron gray soft texture hand painted canvas backdrop. Uh, that's number 78 of theirs. Um, and I just loved the display images and I thought, let me get it, uh, and see how it compares. And I was pleasantly surprised as they're all hand painted. Um, but the representation of what I got did match, um, you know, a lot with the example. It's not exactly the same, um, but that's great because it's individual to you. Um, so why don't we get into the unboxing here? So if you see, it came in a cardboard box here and it was about five feet high and it came wrapped in plastic. And so let me just take this out of the box here and uh, put that aside. And then we have, uh, it's wrapped in plastic and just tear it open. And it all looks good. It doesn't have a very strong odor. I was worried, you know, it does have a, a faint odor of paint, but it, it doesn't smell, um, you know, really strong. And there's just a few pieces of tape uh, holding it together. Uh, so here we have it. I'm going to lay it down and, and show you how I like to use a C-stand. So if you see here, I, I took the grip arm off of the C-stand. Um, and I like to use a C-stand because, uh, you know, they're, they're more sturdy. With this backdrop, since it's only about five feet wide, I'm going to use just the C-stand. And then I got a, a Cardellini clamp. I got the Coupo version, a nine inch uh, supervisor clamp. And uh, that allows me to hook that into the grip arm and then clamp down on, uh, on the top of the backdrop. And then I can raise the stand up or down. So if you see here, uh, I'm just going to put the uh, grip arm on and I'm going to put the one in the middle, attach that to the stand, 
and then I'd have the one that's normally on the end. I'm going to attach the uh, the visor clamp onto that. So just make sure when you're using a C stand, you want uh, the big knobs to be on the right side and the smaller ones on the left side. Um, and so I'm going to go in and insert uh, this visor clamp in there, the Cardinalini clamp into the grip arm there and tighten it up. Uh, and so you can see it's on the, the top of the two holes there and tightened everything up. And at the base of the visor clamp there, you can see um, there's a little knob that you can tighten up to make the grip smaller or larger. With your C-stands, always make sure that you put the largest uh, leg forward and then make sure to put a sandbag or some weight on that leg. So here we go. We have uh, the clamp in there on our grip arm and I'm going to unwrap the backdrop. And here's my first look as we unwrap it. It's looking good. Very evenly painted. Uh, there's a nice texture on it, but it's not. I was worried it would be kind of uh, crumbly or, you know, might bunch up, but it looks pretty smooth. I'm just going to continue to unroll it here. And then this one comes on a dowel. Uh, so there's a wooden dowel at the very end, and I'm just going to roll it back a little bit over the wooden dowel so that you don't see the wood at all, and then put it into the clamp. And then I'm just going to tighten up the clamp. And that should hold things in place. And then after I have the clamp uh, nice and tight, then I can raise the stand up or down if I wanted. So I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher. Uh, make sure it's evened out here. So let's get a view from behind. If you see, there's the wooden dowel on the corner. And then we have, um, you can see how the, the Kupo clamp is, uh, the supervisor clamp clamped on there in the middle. So here we have a look. It's really great. It's this uh, grayish blue uh, kind of look to me. Uh, at least that's the way it appears to me. And there's little hints of green and a little bit of purple in there, little purple specks um, that I see and a little gray. I think they did a really solid job uh, and, and I'm excited to shoot with it. Um, so here's a little bit more, a little overview of it. And then let's get real close up so you can see the texture. So you can kind of see those brush marks in there. Um, and, and you can see the texture that it gives and the depth. So that's the backdrop. Uh, I'm really excited to shoot with it. Um, I'm going to go and uh, do a little session, just a very simple setup. Uh, I'm going to have um, put a V flat with the black side to my right for a little shadow. And then I'm going to use um, just my 8300 Pro with the Glow uh, 34 inch Beauty Dish, the, the white one, um, the collapsible uh, one. I'm going to set that up on a stand and kind of feather the light. So I'm not going to point it directly at me, but kind of off to the side um, and, and try and take a few tests. It's hard to do because I have to use my cell phone in order to trigger it. Uh, and sometimes it's not, uh, not the best, but just want to do a few test shots and see what this backdrop looks like. Uh, and, you know, I'll put them at the end here and you can take a look and let me know your thoughts. But I'm really excited. I'm really happy with um, the quality of this backdrop. Uh, the look is great and I'm excited to shoot with it. And I think overall the price and everything, the value, it's, it's really great. I think I'm going to get a couple more. Um, so I'm really excited to use them. Uh, you can check out my work at my website, nycapture.com, or you can go over to Instagram. It's at nycapture1, and soon you'll be seeing some more portraits and headshots using these backdrops. Um, but also make sure to subscribe here. Uh, I'd love to start working on, on building a few more subscribers here. So if you want to make sure to uh, like this video and turn on the notifications and, and follow and subscribe, I would love uh, to provide you with more great videos like this to come in the future. And if you have any comments or feedback or questions about this video or any of the other ones, 
feel free to reach out to me here or in the comments or on my website or email, anywhere you'd like uh, on social media. I would love to hear from you. Thank you. And I look forward to, to seeing you all soon.